this is another important point because a lot of Globers uh, sort of use this as proof of the globe. And I know Jaren's made a video on it. I made a video response to uh, Zach at New Tutora on this because it's so ridiculous. Um, and I'll just try to read this too and then I'll make a comment on it. I wish that would disappear, but let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Something. The moon viewed from the northern hemisphere is seen right side up, but when viewed from the southern hemisphere appears upside down. So here's one from the northern hemisphere and here's one from the southern hemisphere. Therefore, we live on a globe, right? No. Um, so that's an important point that that is actually totally possible in the flat earth model just because you're looking up at the moon from different angles. Um, the way I would put it is, uh, you know, tape a quarter to your ceiling and look at it and say the head is up facing you, you know, the head's facing you and the neck's away from you. If you walk to the other side of your room and look up at that same quarter, now the neck is facing you and the head's away from you. Does that mean your room is a globe? Or does it just mean you're looking at the quarter from a different perspective, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yep. And that, right. and that's and if, easy to wrap your head around. <laughs> right. And if we add to that, that now picture oh, you're shit. in a dome bedroom and picture stars and them turning, and then you walk to each side of the room, it's going to give you completely different views of what the stars are actually doing. And you wake up and go ape shit. It's all the right. Totally right. That's... Yes, that's correct. I see that. Okay. Bob on some ape shit, but I guarantee you Charles Darwin was a mason. Damn. They like you humans so puny, you just appeared after a big bang and gas and started fuming together to make life. Don't even think twice. There's nothing about you special. You basically saying mites. On this tiny fucking speck of dirt okay. called Earth, the only sign of life in the entire universe. Cut the sound oh, and out every star is a billion trillion miles away. So how the fuck we got a oh, picture of the okay. Milky Way, man? <laughs> My fellow Americans, we have just discovered a, a new planet. Uh, okay, um, I think I had my mic muted. Could you guys hear the sound okay, or was it really uh, low? Although we spent um, dozens and dozens of years researching and billions and billions of taxpayers' money. Uh, on the screen, if I mute the mic from the Google control, it mutes out everything. Oh, I just had a little mute button on my mic, but okay. So, um, as we travel southwards from the North Pole, Polaris and its surrounding stars decline in the sky due to perspective, which is pretty easy to understand. You know, the further you walk away from, say, like, like, like let's say you're standing and looking at a uh, church spire, and if you walk away from it, say, a hundred feet, it's gonna that church spire is gonna appear lower towards the ground, and if you walk a thousand feet, then it's gonna appear right next to the horizon, and then so if you here, walk another five hundred feet, then it's see. gonna be invisible. That's just how perspective works. If something's above you, the further away you get, the further and further down it's gonna appear to get. So that's a good explanation um, due to perspective. So at the North Pole, Polaris is situated directly ninety degrees above your head. But in the mid-northern latitudes, like here, it's about 45 degrees. So, totally makes sense. There's, I guess, uh, that's Polaris right there. It's about 45 uh, degrees how do we above have the horizon. Uh, so that's your, have, I guess, azimuth, have... if I'm saying that right. So we'll just continue, unless you guys had a comment, question on that. Super fast. We have million-mile internet. Faster than yep. anything or the same. Yeah, up at the uh, elevation left. But we right just use it to, for to explore yeah, space. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah. but, but, uh, close enough. Yeah, yeah, close know, enough. Close enough, enough for Globusters. That's planets, right. Uh, <laughs> but there's nothing out there. I mean, <laughs> I tell you, there's nothing out there. <laughs> you know, we're going to keep spending money and keep looking. We're going to keep sending cameras and space. We're going to keep sending fucking astronauts in this Polaris place. remains fixed, while all the other stars rotate 24 hours circles around them. I mean, stars near Polaris rotate pictures. very slowly, while those further and further away know. rotate progressively faster. So, makes a lot of sense. We're, we're get, we're, we'll get to the diagrams and sort of the ex explanation that, that sort of made a lot of sense to me.